Hello and welcome back to the KCC channel. I'm Rob and I hope you are having a wonderful day today. Today I have two stories for you, both with updates from the Am I the Butthole subreddit. Before we start that, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It's completely free and you can always change your mind later. All right, on to the stories. Let's jump right in. This story comes to us from Outside Looking In 987. Am I the Butthole, 50 male, for wanting to divorce my wife, 45 female, because she caused me to go to the ER? Bit long, sorry in advance, I now see how easy it is when writing down your thoughts, as I always wondered why people wrote so much. So my wife, 45 female, and I, 50 male, have been married for almost 20 years. We have a 16-year-old daughter, and life has been pretty good. We've had our ups and downs like any marriage, but we work together through it. We have even done marriage counseling a couple of times to get ourselves on the right track, mostly IRL stuff and feeling like roommates. When it comes to household chores, I've always cleaned the house, as I'm a bit OCD with cleaning due to growing up in a house with roaches as a kid. She takes care of the laundry, and we split making dinners on days I'm off, as I work 12 hours a day, 4 days a week kiddo takes care of the dishes. So herein lies the issue. My wife is going through pure menopause. She's been super emotional and a bit unlike herself for the last six months or so. She is taking meds to help even out her hormones, but it's taking time. One day she is overly nice, the next day complaining about every little thing and getting all bent out of shape. So yesterday morning was one of her bad days, I forgot to set up the coffee pot to make coffee in the morning. When I went down, she was all bent out of shape over it. I tried my normal tactic of apologizing as I had a migraine and went to bed early and just forgot. Told her I would make coffee in a bit as I just woke up and needed a little bit to get the morning fog out of my head. Typical thing for me in the morning. She didn't like this answer. So as I went to sit on the couch, she threw her coffee cup at me, causing it to smash into my head, breaking and splitting my head open. At first, I was pissed that she actually threw something at me, like what? But then felt liquid, blood obviously as I couldn't see it, going down my neck. I put my hand on it, pulled it back, thinking it was coffee, then saw the blood. Of course, at the sight of this, my wife all of a sudden freaked out, screamed at my daughter to get a towel, all the while apologizing to me and crying, stating she was sorry. We headed to the ER and had our daughter drive as wife couldn't as she was a hot mess. Luckily, it wasn't so deep that it needed stitches and they used that glue stuff. The thing is, I had a rough childhood and home life. I was physically abused by my mom all the way up until I left at 18. My wife knows this, and when she did what she did, it brought back all those memories so long ago forgotten. I love my wife, but I swore to myself that I would never be in a place where I'd be a ever again. And now, I don't know if I would be the butthole if I file for divorce because of this. I know her hormones are partially to blame, but I also know she's an adult and responsible for her actions. I guess I'm just looking for advice, wondering if I'm the butthole if I decide to leave. Maybe I just needed to vent a little too. Jumping down to the comment section on this one, there's one from a user called AQ. It says, not the butthole. I would file for a divorce too. That cup could have hit you on the wrong side of the head and caused severe damage. What? I hope your daughter is safe. Another commenter called Flasorian said, not the butthole. You need to make sure you and your daughter are safe from violent outbursts. I'm also going through premenopause, which makes me a little crazy at times, but allowing myself to lash out physically is never an option, period. Yeah, OP, what they're saying is completely true. Billions of women have gone through that same thing, and most of them don't throw things at their spouses. Her hormones might be all over the place, but that is no excuse for violence. Any doctor will tell you that. Alright, OP updated this one, let's jump into that now. This update is titled, Update Am I the Butthole, 50 male, for wanting to divorce my wife, 45 female, because she caused me to go to the ER. First, I want to thank everyone for your responses. When I first posted, I thought I would get just a few replies. 
Obviously, I got way more than a few and was just overwhelmed by the sheer volume of comments. So, never replied, but I did my best to read them all. However, working 12-hour days doesn't leave me much free time. So, before the update, figured I'd answered some questions that everyone asked. My daughter and I are safe, so thank you again for your worries and concerns. My wife has never had anger issues or thrown stuff ever. Not to say she hasn't yelled or lost her temper. Normal when we've had arguments as we all do. However, she does have depression and anxiety and takes meds for those as well. Sorry if my post made it seem like I was making excuses for her. I was and am not. She's an adult and responsible for her actions. Also, some people mentioned I gave pointless info in the first few paragraphs. I figured it was best to point out that her actions wasn't due to me being a lazy husband. Okay, on to the bit long update. So after posting here, I took some time to cool off as I clearly was still mad about the situation. I took my daughter and we went for a drive. We talked about this issue and asked her how she felt. Much like most of the responses here, we agreed that it would be a good idea to leave the house for a bit until her mom, my wife's mental issues, have been resolved and meds adjusted. We headed back home and I asked my wife to come down so we could have a family meeting, as she'd been hiding in our bedroom since we came home from the hospital. She came down and clearly feels awful, looked like she hadn't stopped crying since the incident. We both hugged her and told her we loved her, but we needed to talk. I told her for at least this week and maybe next week, we're going to stay at my sister's place. She could stay in the house as she works from home and can't go into the office. She started to cry again, so I waited for her to compose herself and finished. I let her know what she did was I reminded her of my childhood and that although this was outside of her normal behavior, it has caused a rift in our marriage but I was willing to give her this one-time pass. However, she has to go see her doctor like yesterday. Tell her everything that happened, everything she was feeling, not to sugarcoat anything so that her doctor can get her the right meds so that this never happens again. As many of you mentioned, it would be dumb of me to throw away 20 years for a one-time F-up. When I posted, I was still pretty pissed. Although it was a huge F up, I think it's something we can work through. I told her that we needed to set up an appointment with a marriage counselor again, that this is going to take work on both our parts to move forward. I also told her that if she ever did anything like that again, I would file for divorce and take our daughter with me, that her and my safety was my number one priority. She apologized several times during the talk, she tried telling us that she's all messed up with her hormones and the meds and she didn't mean to. That when she threw it, it was like as soon as it left her hands, she knew she effed up. I let her know that we understand she's going through a lot, but that her hormonal issues are never an excuse for acting out and intentionally throwing stuff at me. That she's an adult and she's responsible for her own actions. Blaming it on hormones or meds or other BS wasn't going to cut it. I did get a bit heated at this point. She at least acknowledged this and apologized again. So this is where we are at this point. We are at my sister's place now as I write this. Sorry again for the stupidly long post. Again, thank you all you internet strangers for taking the time to read and comment. It allowed me to vent and also get some clarity. Jumping down to the comment section on this one, there's one from a user called HJO1210. It says, maybe you should go to her doctor's appointment with her so you can tell the doctor what's happening from your perspective. It will force her to be completely honest and you can give your input as well. OP responded to this one and said, I plan to, thanks. Another commenter down below called Raise Ire Set Fires said, here's the big glaring red flag for me. The fact that OP had to give her the ultimatum to go to the doctor. If she was really taking accountability and apologetic, she would have already made a doctor's appointment. Instead, she threw herself a pity party, hoping her tears and self-sequestering would be enough to emotionally manipulate OP into rug-sweeping everything. 
This is just another way of not taking responsibility for herself or her actions. This is only teaching the daughter that losers deserve empathy, understanding, and grace. That their feelings and safety are secondary to the losers. That second chances are more important than the truth. I just want to add, my ex never hit me until he gave me a black eye. There's always a first time. You have to decide if you're going to allow it to lead to the second. I think we need to turn this one around. If OP had thrown the mug at his wife and split her head open when she went to the hospital, he would have had the cop sent after him. He would have been arrested and been in jail. But apparently, in this case, that doesn't happen to her. There's a bit of a double standard going on here. I've got to look at this one from the perspective of my own relationship. If my wife ever threw a mug at me and split my head open, I would never feel safe around her again. And if you can't feel safe around your spouse, well, you need to get away from that spouse. It's just not worth staying. This story comes to us from Strange Tadpole 3749. Am I the butthole for not coming to terms with the fact that my wife cheated on me 14 years ago before our marriage? I, 35 male, am married to my wife, 37 female, for 11 years and together for 14. We have a beautiful 7 years old daughter and our marriage has been great without any major problems until last year. Last year, I learned that my wife cheated on me before our marriage. One of her friends became religious and confessed her actions to me, which had me confront my wife. She was shocked that I'd learned it and apologized profusely about her actions. However, she said, it's not something important now because we've been going strong and have a family together. She told me I should come to terms with it since it happened four months into being exclusive and she was a stupid girl out of college back then. My mind told me the same. It happened 14 years ago and we are happy right now. I decided to forgive her and continue our usual life. Reality was not that great. My mental health took a big hit. I realized it's not something that happened 14 years ago for me. The cheating happened for me when my wife confirmed it. I was less confident, could not have nookies with my wife. This turned into feeling disgusted being around her. I even took a DNA and STD test secretly. Thankfully, our daughter is mine and I am clear of STDs. Then, a year of intense individual therapy started for me. I realized I needed to change somehow. I was not the same person I used to be. I also communicated my feelings to my wife and after pushing a bit, we started going to couples counseling too. However, at the end of everything, I decided to proceed with divorce. Here are my reasonings. She not only cheated back then, but lied to me for 14 years. She did not confess the action herself. Even though she apologized, she dismissed the fact by saying it's not important anymore. Young me was robbed of having a choice. Cheating was, and still is, one of the biggest deal breakers for me. If I knew it back then, I would have broke it off. I'm happy with my life, and I'm glad that our daughter came to the world. She is the light that shines the brightest for me. One of the biggest reasons I keep living, but I still was robbed of a choice back then. Individual counseling and marriage counseling could not help our problems and my feelings towards her. It also started affecting family life, which could affect our daughter. I think our daughter would be better off having us as co-parents instead of living in a broken family environment where consistent arguments are present. Nookie life is basically dead for me. We do have nookies, but I feel like those women on films and series that just lay and look at the ceiling, waiting for it to be over. The only difference is that I'm a man. Last week, I had a sit down with my wife and explained everything I wrote here in detail. My feelings, reasonings, and some other private things. I have been talking to a lawyer for the last month and papers are almost finalized. 50-50 custody, 50-50 asset sharing, and as amicable as possible. I explained everything thoroughly and clearly to her. She freaked out and had a panic attack. We spent the night at the ER. She is begging me to reconsider and not throw away 14 years. However, even though I would like to stay, 
it will result in us being roommates and a broken family environment for our daughter. Am I in the wrong here? Jumping down to the comment section on this one, we have one from a user called KGBJ. It says, this isn't about being a butthole or not. You're not able to deal with something and it has changed your view of someone. Another commenter down below called Lit said, this isn't a butthole or not question. You aren't able to love her the way you did before. You no longer trust her. Your relationship is dysfunctional. Therapy didn't help. Calling you or her, after all, she's the cheater, a butthole will solve absolutely nothing. All you can do now is to make the separation as smooth as possible for your daughter. I think the biggest part of this one was that OP just found out that his wife cheated even though it was 14 years ago. It's completely fresh for OP. And then she says, it's not important anymore. Um, maybe not to you because you knew about it for 14 years. But OP literally just finding out about this it's new, it's raw, and you're gone. <laughs> Alright, OP updated this one, let's jump into it now. The update is titled, Update, Am I the Butthole for Not Coming to Terms with the Fact that My Wife Cheated on Me 14 Years Ago Before Our Marriage? Firstly, I want to thank everyone for their ideas and input about my situation. Some people reached out to me on Reddit chat to state their opinions, and we had long talks. They have been incredibly helpful, and I want to thank them especially. Some people asked if we went to counseling together. Yes, we have been visiting a counselor for over a year now on top of my individual therapy. I understand blowing up a marriage for something happened 14 years ago is not logical. However, my feelings towards my wife got even worse after counseling and therapy. It started with not being able to trust her, converted to not wanting nookies, then not wanting anything. And finally, I'm not even comfortable to be in the same space as her. We have been less than roommates in the last couple of months. I do not hate or resent her, but I cannot shake off the feelings. I would say I forgave her, but it's not about forgiving anymore when there are no feelings and love. I do not want my daughter to grow up in such an environment. I know how hurtful it can be. I experienced a similar situation with my parents, only the genders reversed. Living in such an environment breaks you as a child and teen. I would have much preferred if my mother just divorced my dad instead of staying for my sake. These being said, I had a long talk with my wife this morning. She has not been eating much since visiting the ER, and I am concerned for her well-being and safety. Some Redditors who reached out suggested considering separation before proceeding with the divorce and see if my feelings would change. That is very logical, actually. I proposed this idea to my wife, and she was happy to hear it. I have an upcoming business trip to Netherlands next week, and I'm planning to extend my stay and stay with my sister once I am back. My wife abruptly suggested one-sided open marriage, and I can do what I want on that business trip if it'll save the relationship, make us even, and change my feelings. I rejected because it has nothing to do with that. Even if it changed something for me, it would devastate her knowing I cheated on her in the future. It's not something easy to get over and not an easy decision. That is all the update. We'll try separation for a while and depending on the result, I'll make my decision. Thank you for all the help and opinions. Jumping down to the comment section on this one, there's one from a user called Toadwart79. It says, did she ever say why she cheated in the first place? Her proposing a one-sided open relationship does not make them even. She slept with someone else without taking his feelings into account and lied about it for 14 years. He'd be having nookies with her permission. These two things are nowhere near being the same. I hope he finds single life to be happier. OP, you said you understand blowing up a marriage for something that happened 14 years ago is not logical. Um, you're completely wrong here. It is completely logical because this person that you trusted for 14 years, you do not trust anymore. It's completely logical if you don't want to be with that person anymore. I'm honestly rooting for this separation to end up in divorce because OP, I don't think you're ever going to trust her again. Did you know that every single KCC video is also uploaded in podcast form? Search for Karma Comment Chameleon Podcast on every major podcasting platform.
I thank you for watching and listening. I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you tomorrow.